Good morning, everybody. This is Auntie Pauline with your online inspiration. How are you doing this morning? You open trust that you're okay, you're keeping warm and dry, and you be extra special, careful throughout this festive season. And I believe that it is a season for giving. So whatever you do, remember the less fortunate, remember those who are around you, your neighbor that and your neighbor's children that needs um, a small gift or you know something to play with something to read something to make them happy and that a plate of um, of your nice food that you have been planning to look about to fix yes remember to share it's a season for giving all right so Recognizing God's voice, a quick one for you. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. Now, God has a special plan for each of his children. Better believe it because each of us have different gifts, different talents, each of us are unique in our own different way. So he has special plans for us. And how, how essential it is to listen to his voice. So sometimes we, we, we tend to stray away from obeying the voice of God and doing our own thing. But it's best if we listen to the voice of God, then we will be on the right track. It's so very important to know if it is God expressing you, impressing you, or the enemy. And when you have prayed passionately to God and He impresses you to do something, go for it. So you must know the difference between the voice of God and the voice of the devil. That when that voice impresses you to do something, you go for it. So you know that it's the voice of the Lord. All right. It says, don't hesitate and talk yourself out of it because it sounds unreasonable or out of your comfort zone. When you have surrendered your will to God, you won't be acting like you have all the answers. Instead, you'll be leaning on Jesus and following the past that he has laid out for you. How will you know God's voice? That's a question and a very good one too. Well, the more time you spend in prayer, the more time you spend in prayer, the more you will recognize his voice. So how will you know the voice of God? The more time you spend in prayer, the more you will recognize his voice. You can be sure that God will never impress you to do anything that would go against his holy word. All right. It's crucial that you listen for God's voice so that you can be obedient to his will. The Bible says in Jeremiah 7 verse 23, Obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people. That is, it may be well with you. God speaks through scripture as well as his Holy Spirit. But if you are unsure whether it is God's voice impressing you, then double the time you spend on your knees. Set aside a special time each day to spend time with Jesus because it's during those quiet times when you'll hear the voice of the Lord loud, the loudest. So it is in those quiet times. So if you are not sure, if it's the Lord speaking, then double your effort, double your time you spent with him, right? Double the time that you spent with God through prayer, and then you will recognize his voice because his voice makes a difference. When he speaks, it relieves my troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference, and I follow one day at a time. Do you know that song? You know it, sing along with me. His voice makes a difference when he speaks. He releases my troubled mind. He's the only voice I hear that makes a difference. And 
and I'll follow one day at a time. When I need him, I know where to find him. In my place of prayer, his spirit comes first me. His voice jingles me directions. And I follow that voice that I hear. Oh, his voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he relieves my troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference. And I follow one day at a time. And I follow one day at a time. His voice, strong and mighty tower, tearing down every stronghold in my life. Is the master of the wind and storms that rages. When he speaks, all my darkness turns to light. Oh, his voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he releases my troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference and I follow one day at a time. Amen. I do hope and trust that you're inspired this morning. And don't keep it to yourself. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend to run. Come over to Auntie Pauline's channel, YouTube and um tiktok yeah youtube and tiktok and follow me and subscribe if you have not yet and share like and share and i love when you leave the comment yes so leave a comment let me know what you think all right so remember to have yourself a wonderful and a blessed holiday and remember if you can't be good be careful be careful out there it's not easy in this festive season. Be careful. All right? And remember to give. Have yourself a wonderful and a productive day. Art and love. Checking out.